All right, we want to play with chords when we don't have very much information. For example, we've got a chord B to B prime. We know that it's catching, it's being caught by an angle of 45 degrees. We know the radius is 12. We want to be able to calculate that chord. Well, we've got an angle on the side. So if we've got an angle, we need to use trig, which means we're going to use sine cosine or tangent depending on where things are. Now our rules say that if we take a radius and we make it hit perpendicular that it's going to bisect the chord. Well perpendicular drops us into trig or Pythagorean theorem. Awesome because that's a right triangle. So now we can actually do right triangle. Well if it's bisecting the chord it's also bisecting the angle, so that 45 degree angle for the whole thing is now, what's well, half of 45? You know, 22.5 degrees. All right. So we're standing here at the center. We know we have 12. 12 is the hypotenuse because it's across from, it is across from the right angle. So that makes it the hypotenuse. And we want to find this portion right here of our right triangle. Um, then we'll just double it, and that's the whole chord. So that would be, if we're standing here, that would be opposite. So we have opposite and hypotenuse, which means sine. So sine of 22.5 equals opposite, that's that BB prime, over 12. So multiply both sides by 12, and we get 12 times the sine of 22.5 equals x. So pop up your calculator. Let's do that. So we have 22.5 sine of that times 12 equals 4.534 equals x. Now, you got to remember, that's only half of our chord. So we want to double that. And we get 9.068 is our actual chord B to B prime. Now, we could also find that blue line there, which happens to be the height of the triangle. And we would need that to find the area of the triangle. Because area equals one half the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. And again, a height is a perpendicular distance from a base to a vertex. So we got a perpendicular, we're at a base, we're going to the vertex, so that blue line is our height. Well, the blue line just happens to be the adjacent. Oh, so we just use cosine. Okay. 22.5 equals, oh, we'll call that y for now, y over 12. Same thing, just now we're going to use cosine because we're going to find the other side. 22.5 cosine of that multiply that by 12 and we get 11.087 equals y. Now I don't need to double that because that's just the height. And so now you would take your uh, base which is the 9.068 times 11.087 divide by 2 multiply by half same thing and you find the area of that triangle. Where this gets us, actually, besides just doing that, well, if we were to do another chord, the same size, though. We're going to do the same angle. If it's the same angle, it's the same size, because that's one of our rules. Um, and then we were to keep going all the way around the circle. If we do 45, we can do it eight times. We end up building a regular octagon. So if you want to build a regular octagon, you break a 360 divided by 8, you break it up into 45 degree sectors. If you want to build a regular hexagon, you do the same exact thing that we just did here, except instead of 45 degrees, let's see, 360 divided by 6 is 60. What about a pentagon? What about a heptagon? I mean, all that. We all use this. We use a circle. And we make chords the same size by making their angle the same angle, the central angle the same. 
and that'll make cords the same size, which we then use trig to find uh, because we just have the radius of our circle. That's how we do it.